All I could hear was the nurse's screams and I could see the, the patient kicking her torso. A new report reveals the escalating incidence of violence against health care workers and the personal account from one retired nurse. A new report is showing a shocking number of Ontario health care workers have been subjected to violence and sexual harassment in the workplace. Eric Avello spoke with a retired nurse about the disturbing trend. She was screaming, stop, stop, stop. It's an incident Linda Claiborne can't forget. A male patient assaulting her colleague. And all I could hear was the nurse's screams and I could see the, the patient kicking her torso and she was on the ground and it felt it felt like I was going in slow motion. Claiborne is retired now, but over her 42-year career, she says she witnessed many violent assaults against workers, some leaving lasting effects. You know, they can't work anymore. They have brain injuries. Um, you know, they, they have permanent disabilities. They have PTSD so severe that they can't work anymore. The Ontario Council of Hospital Unions conducted a survey looking at violence against frontline health care staff, which will be released in its entirety on Monday. There is a very significant, horrific problem with uh, verbal, sexual and physical aggression against staff in Ontario hospitals. The study polled almost 2,000 health care workers in Ontario. In the last year, 68% say they've experienced at least one incident of violence. 42% say they've experienced sexual harassment or assault. 75% say they've witnessed at least one incident of violence against a co-worker. And 26% say they lost time at work due to violence on the job. Every day you go to work and you know something will happen or you fear that something's going to happen. What we're really hoping is to, is to spark a public discussion about this. And along with those discussions, put in place an action plan that would help both health care workers and patients. Every institution should post signs in public areas discouraging uh, physical uh, violence. And we're looking for the federal government to amend the Canadian Criminal Code as they did for transit staff to make it a more serious offense if you assault a health care worker. Our job is to nurture and heal. Claiborne says changes need to come fast from both the institutions and the government. There needs to be a plan, uh, you know, between the parties. They, they need to plan how they're going to sa save us and how they're going to protect us. Eric Avella, Global News. Now, the Ontario Hospital Association reiterated that the health and safety of employees has been and will continue to be a priority for both the OHA and their member hospitals. They went on to say that hospitals are currently working through and implementing a number of recommendations and look forward to continuing work on this important initiative.